Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Hope you're all doing fine. And today we're going to continue with the third part of the passing of Black Eagle. So let's do this. Chicken slipped to earth and tied the horse to a tree. He hallowed, hallowed again and again, but the horse, sorry, the house remained quiet. The door stood open and he entered cautiously. The light was sufficient for him to see that no one was at home. He struck he struck a match and lighted a lamp that stood on the table. The room was that of a beige bachelor ranchman who was content with the necessaries of life chicken rumma rummaged 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 intelligently until he found what he had hardly dared hope for a small brown jug that still contained something near a quart of his desire half an hour later chicken now a gamecock of hostile aspect emerged from the house with unsteady steps he had drawn upon the absent ranchman's equipment to replace his own ragged attire. Attire. He wore a suit of a co of coarse, of coarse brown ducking, the coat being a sort of rakish bolero, jaunty to a degree. <coughs> rakish bolero, jaunty to a degree. Boots he had donned, donned, and spurs that reeled, weird, weird, with every lurching step, lurching step. Buckled around him was a belt full of cartridges with a big six shooter on in each of its two hol holsters. Prowling about, he found blankets, a saddle, and bridle with which he capar caparisoned, caparisoned his steed. Caparisoned his steed. No idea. Again mounting, he rode swiftly away, singing a loud and tuneless song. <coughs> Bad King's band of desperados, outlaws, and horse and cattle thieves were in camp at a secluded spot secluded, on the bank of the Firo. Their depredations, depredations in the rear ground the country, while no bolder than usual, had been advised, advertised, advertised more extensively, and Captain Kinney's company of rangers had been ordered down to look after them. Consequently, Bud King, who was a wise general, instead of cutting out a hot trail for the upholders of the law, as his men were wished to do, Retired for the for the time to the pe prickly fastnesses, prickly fastnesses of the Firo Valley, prickly fastnesses. Though the move was a per pardoned one, pardoned, and not in incompatible with pairs of the band. In fact, while they thus lay ingloriously 
perdu in the brush the question of Bud King's fitness for the leadership was argued with closed doors as it were but his followers never before had Bud's skill of efficiency been brought to criticize criticism but his glory was warning warning and such is glory fate in the light of a newer star the sentiment of the band was crystal cr was crystallizing into the option opinion that black eagle could lead them with more luster profit and distinction luster luster distinction this black eagle subtitled the terror of the border had been a member of a gang about three months one night while they were in camp on the san miguel waterhole a solitary hall horseman under regulation fury steed dashed fury steed dashed and among them the new comer was of of a port port portentos and devastating aspect a, br <coughs> a break like nose with a pre predatory curve projected above a mass of bristling bristling blue back whiskers his eye was cavernous and fierce he was spurred sombreroed booted garnished with revolvers abundantly abun abundantly drunk and very much unafraid. Few people in the country drained by the Rio, Rio Bravo would have cared just to invade along, along the camp of Bad King, but this fell bird swooped, swooped, swooped fear, fearlessly upon them and demanded to be fed hospitality in the prayer country is not limited even if you enemy if your enemy pass your way you must feed him before you shoot him you must empty empty your larder larder into him before you empty your lead so the stranger of undeclared intentions was set down to a mighty feast feast a talkative bird he was full of the most marvelous loud tales and exploits and speaking a language at times obscure but never colorless he was a new sensation to bud king's man who rare, rarely encountered encountered new types they hung delighted upon his vangular vang glorious when glorious boasting when glorious boasting the spicy strangeness of his lingo lingo no idea his contemptuous familiarity with life, the world, the remote places, and the extravagant freakness with which he conveyed his sentiments. <clears throat> to their guest, the band of outlaws seemed to be nothing more than a con congregation. Congregation of the country bumpkins home he was stringing for grub just as he would have told his stories at the back door of a farmhouse 
to widow and male. And indeed, his ignorance was not without excuse, for the bad man of the southwest does not run the extremes. Those brigands might just brigands, brigands might just justly have been ta taken for a little party of peaceable rus rus rustics, peaceable rustics, assembled for a fish fry on or pecan gathering, gathering. Gentle of manner, scloaching of gait, scloaching of gait, soft voiced, unpick, unpick true, unpick to rest, coily, unpick your. Unpick to unpicturesquely clothed. Not one of them presented to the eye any witness of the desperate records they had earned. For two days, the glittering stranger within the camp was feasted. Then, by common con consent. He was invited to become a member of the band. He, he consented, consented, presenting for enrollment the prodigious name of Captain Montresor. This name was immediately overruled by the band and Piggy substituted as a compliment to the awful and ins insatiate appetite of its owner. Thus did the Texas border receive the most spectacular brigand that even wrote its chaparral. Sorry, chaparral. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today. See you tomorrow on the next part. Thank you.